partner, Alexander Shawman. <laughs> Just, I know, I'm a bit shocked, actually. It's kind of... Uh, I don't know, I got to the end of the routine and I didn't really remember doing it. 7.5! Oh, this is a big one! It's 30.5 out of 40! Uh, you know what? I'm actually shocked. I'm not normally speechless. That has to be one of the best performances we've ever seen in show one. I mean, wow, you've got a... The pressure's on. The pressure's on. Phantom of the Opera. It's quite creepy and moody, which is me. Why am I, why, why am I, I can't stand on one foot. <laughs> I just don't know how to get any speed. I feel like I'm going so slow. I'm getting really angry with the fact I can't do the judges challenge. Do they realize that we're novice skaters? I'm overthinking everything because everyone wants to knock me off the top spot. They see you as a threat now. For me to be able to stay top of the leaderboard, I need to work doubly as hard. There's only one way I can go. to do to top week one's performance, but that certainly had some very different scenes. Not all superheroes wear capes, and our dance master certainly wants to be the man in this year's Dancing on Ice. They felt keeping it simple and getting the form right was the best way to attack the judges' challenge. We will get the verdict shortly. There was a little stumble just at the end. They were supposed to do that just before the throwaway slide. Now the throwaway comments. Judges, just be honest. That's all I ask of you. Jason? 6.5. Ashley? 6.5. Jane? 7. Chris? 7. It's a very good 27 out of 40. 27 is an incredible it score incredible. for week two, it really is. But you are tough on yourself. Oh, I messed up the end massively. Did I nearly you fell over, she saved me. It was a, yeah, I mean, I love this performance as well. I'm so gutted that the end went wrong. But I, I, you know, people think I was on Strictly for all those years, but I get so nervous, I just can't control yes. my nerves. Yeah. It drives me mad. And this is not what you do. You're a dancer, but exactly, you're not an ice skater. You know what, I, I did the best I could and... Yeah, you sorry. did on it. No, you don't well. say sorry. It was incredible. It really was. Powerful. Yeah, I mean, it's such a nightmare. It's put you top of the leaderboard. I mean, what a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's uh, have a word with, uh, with our judges. Uh, Chris. You know, it was all going so well. I was so impressed when you stepped out of the gondola and then you were doing backward crossovers, doing that cape manipulation. Yeah. So you were working with a prop, doing great back crossovers. Yeah. You had the mood. It was all going so well. The spin was fantastic. And then, boom, it's slippy stuff out there, isn't it? <laughs> I tell you, it catches you out when you're not ready. But you know what? You stood up, you, you did... She didn't help you. You actually found your own balance. Yes, Jane. Uh, great performance from beginning to end, but 
obviously with the stumbles we've had to deduct, but the spin was really solid. Thank you. Jason. Well, I mean, you know, James and Alexandra, you, you work beautifully together. We know that already, you know, and this is an exciting partnership. We look forward to it. This was a great piece, well executed, but for me, I think you actually could have played more into the fact that he, he is obsessed with Christine Dyer. This is a man that is controlling. He's her Svengali. I didn't get enough of that tonight. Mm -hmm. Just too much nice stuff that was going on, beautifully executed, but you missed the point. Right, thank I you. I was trying thank to stay on my sheet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, these are great marks, but I think for you, they reflect the fact that it was stumbling towards the end, so I'm not going to dwell on that. One note from me would be, you're such a proficient skater that I'd love to see more creativity, invention from you guys, like shock us, really do something different. OK. All right, something to work on for next week. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. If our Phantom of the Opera made your spine tingle, then make sure you vote when the lines open later for now. It's James and Alexandra. Well done. <laughs>